I hope you guys are staying clear of the Steve Carino, keeping yourselves healthy. Um, so I wanted to take a minute, uh, if you've been following the community post, and you probably already know a little bit about this, or on our Facebook page, you know, like us on Facebook, follow that. Um, I will tell you just a little bit of updates. I am working to overhaul the channel's look and appearance. You know, that's going to be the name of this channel, the display, um, the different playlists that are on the main page, uh, trying to, you know, restructure, um, you know, the, the channel name of uh, Sticky Situations and also the Kidnapper's Corner. Um, those things are going to be changed. Um, Sticky Situations brand will still be the, um, you know, largest or uh, uh, parent company, if you will, of all of this. Um, but, uh, yeah, the YouTube channel is going to be titled something different. Um, the Kidnapper's Corner name will change. will still be KK, but it's going to change. Um, so we're, you know, and the, like I said, the name Sticky Situations will still be used for our original work. Um, the digital creations and the live action stuff. Um, so that's, um, yeah, something I'm working on. But I wanted to touch base with you guys, uh, touch base with you guys about a few of, uh, um, you know, our obstacles, some hurdles, some things we're jumping through. And, uh, yeah, so basically, you know, the, right now, it's been a rough few months here. Um, when it comes to growth, our channel growth, which is basically our business growth, um, you know, since December, really the last four months, it is not, um, it's definitely declined. And I wanted to speak to you about our, our obstacles, our hurdles, how you guys can help, um, you know, some things we have to do uh, to overcome those. Obviously, there's a lot of problems in the world right now. Um, and uh, we're all getting hit by that. Uh, one of the things that's happened in the last four months, really it's been the last year. It started about a year ago, and as the year went on, uh, we hit more and more of these. Um, it expanded a little past a year, but basically right now, our channel growth, our traffic is the worst that it's been in two years. It is, it is not since, really since I met Samantha. In fact, it's about but this is about our two-year anniversary right now when Samantha came on board here. Um, and over those coming months, uh, it, was really into the, it wasn't really until the middle of the summer after we got through that, uh, those false flags and everything that our channel growth started to explode. Um, you'd have to go back about two years to find our channel growing this slowly. And one of the reasons that is is that over the last year, we have lost so much of our content here. You guys don't know this or don't really understand what I mean by that because it's a lot of stuff that's, again, behind the scenes. The same way with how when we got suspended from the partner program the end of last year. Um, nothing you guys could see. And then the way I cleaned that up and got us back in, again, nothing you guys could really see. It's all behind the scenes stuff that isn't, uh, doesn't affect you and it's nothing you're notified of. You guys can't see it. Um, some a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that happens here basically a year ago we started to lose videos and when I say lose I mean a video that I have available to the public public viewing of a video means you can find it in the videos tab on our channel you can search for it and most importantly YouTube will actually recommend it to people that's what a public video is unlisted video the only way you can see an unlisted video is if I send you the link or you find it in a playlist, someone else's playlist, or in one of our playlists on the main page or in the playlist tab, if the video is inserted in a playlist or I send you the link. It's the only way you can find an unlisted video. You can't search for it, you can't look for it. Um, yeah, so those videos do not get traffic. Private videos, you have to have you know your username plugged into the video, that's totally different. But um, basically, what I have been forced to do over the last year is turn so many of our videos from public to unlisted, and that's because we lost ownership of those videos. They're still on the channel. They're still in the Kidnapper's Corner playlist, but we lost the ownership from retroactive copyright claims, meaning a third party 
finally uploaded the footage into the system. It uh, matched it against our video, said this is that content. You lose ownership of this video to this copyright holder. When that happens, I enlist the video because I'm not going to have videos recommended where we're not making the money. Also, I don't want our traffic coming from videos we don't earn the rights to. That could be another um, another reason for suspension from the partner program. So I, I have to have all our traffic coming from our videos. And then at the end of the year, as you know, then we got hit um, with some YouTube made changes to what it considers age restricted content. And that got that clip two of our videos. Um, in fact, our most popular video ever was that Craigslist killer episode. It had about two million views. I had to delete it. Um, I tried to re upload them. Not going to work on this channel. They're in the KK playlist, but they're not on this channel. Um, you know, I had to, had to host them elsewhere. Um, so, wasn't going to work here. Um, with uh, with those those scenes, YouTube just decided those are not appropriate for all viewers anymore. Um, has to do with um, bedrooms, bedroom settings, things like that stuff. And part of those it was the Craigslist Killer, and then that Descendant movie with Katherine Heigl. Neither one of those scenes are very good. Um, why they were so popular? The Heigl scene was pretty popular, but the Craigslist Killer brought us tons of views, tons of traffic. Fortunately, we didn't make much money from it. Um, it was a shorter video. Um, it wasn't doing well with ads, but traffic, it was good. We lost, so we lost two videos from age restrictions. Well, we also lost videos, um, we lost a total of about 10 very popular videos. We lost more than 10, but 10 of them were very popular. In fact, we've actually lost the majority of our most popular videos over the last year or so, and that's what's really hurt us. Um, you know, we still have Kidnapped, the full version of Kidnapped, is our most popular video brings in a ton of traffic um uh there's there's some other kk episodes a stephanie scott caught episode we still have um there's there's still scenes uh you know still uh some of the newer videos that's the thing too here's something you guys don't understand it can take years for a video to really catch in youtube search algorithms to really start getting promoted it can take years and that's why losing some of these videos was such a blow. You know, last year, this past spring and this past summer, we uploaded a lot of awesome scenes. Well, they're still pretty new in the grand scheme of things. It's going to take a while before those really catch fire. So that's kind of where that's at. But we lost eight other really popular videos. Terror Among Us started it. Uh, Born Bad, I, I Know Where Lizzie Is, um, the Tracy Needham Brick Break Jag scene with the awesome gaffer tape gag got um, retroactively manually claimed, Evil Laru in the Van and CSI Miami, A Deadly Vision, Final Approach. Um, these are just some of the scenes that got retroactively claimed that were doing really well. Also, there's another scene that got claimed, The Perfect Tenant. But if you guys are following the community post, you know that I found out that about six weeks ago we got ownership of that video back. This was July of last year when we lost it. Uh, middle of February we got it back. I guess that, that company released the claim of the footage. I didn't get a notification of it, but I've once again turned that from an unlisted to a public video. It's been out of the algorithm for close to a year now, coming up on that, you know, eight, nine months. That's, um, it's, it's going to take some time for it to catch back. That was one of our best videos. Uh, it had almost 400,000 views at the time, over 1,000 likes. Um, you know, very, uh, it did very well with revenue. Now we're getting it back out there. So that's a start. But like I said, we lost nine other extremely popular videos. So when you're losing these videos like that, videos that had built in the system for years, it does, it does hurt you. Um, you know, right now we're only gaining about 350 subscribers a month. There was a time when we were gaining about 2,000, you know, about a year or a little less than a year ago, somewhere around there. And yeah, we're getting about 2,000 a month. Now it's about 350. Um, so our rate of growth is uh, very much declined. And that's from losing, um, losing your best videos. So what we're doing now, you know, obviously we put out a ton of awesome videos last year, but it just takes time. 
Um, you know, getting the perfect tenant back in the mix helps. But one thing I'm going to do, uh, you know, and if you want to watch that perfect tenant video, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. I mean, that's certainly a way to uh, to help. Um, one thing I'm going to be doing is not recapping. Uh, you know, recaps are different, and some of these will get recaps eventually. Um, some other manually claimed videos will. Uh, shout out to the, the guy who uh, told me Into the Blue is his favorite scene. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll eventually be recapping. And that was a little different. That was a long time ago, too. Um, but some of these retroactive automated claims. The next one that's coming is Final Approach. The awesome uh, Judith Hogue, uh, Stacy Haydick uh, scene from uh, the TV movie. That's a great scene. We lost ownership of it this past summer. So I'm going to be remaking it, which means it's going to be the same episode that's already there, that's unlisted, but I'm going to have to tweak the editing to make it ours. So what I'll be doing is uploading the original episode that will have more extended footage. That will be made available to patrons, the $2 KK patrons and up. So that will be put there. Everyone else, you're going to get the new public upload on the channel. It's going to be inserted into the playlist. It's going to be a public video. Hopefully you will watch it and give it a thumbs up and help it get recirculated and get it back out into the system. That's what I have to do for Final Approach, for Terror Among Us, Deadly Vision, um, like I said, a, a handful of other videos that uh, we lost uh, through retroactive copyright claims. There are more and more of those type of videos and that's the thing people don't realize. Um, one of our new, our newest KK episode, the Aubrey Plaza scene. This scene was set to be, I think, uh, a, um, a very popular video. This video was going to be very popular. But it's nowhere near as popular as it should be because somebody else last year went and uploaded the scene. I asked them to delete it because we were going to be uploading it. You know, we it took us quite a while to get to that point. Obviously, with a lot of obstacles we went through, I wasn't able to upload it. Uh, we actually put work into our videos, unlike the scene uploaders. And uh, yeah, so this person uploaded it. I asked him to get rid of it so we could have the traffic and the likes. The problem is, is he uploaded it uh, back in November. People watched it. They watched it there first. They gave it a thumbs up. Now they don't want to watch it on our channel. Now his video has more thumbs up, and it, it's Pokemonism, Pokemon, whatever the hell that is. Um, you know, th this guy, I, I asked him, uh, I sent him tweets, I tried to, he, he purposefully ignored me. Um, he doesn't own a business in this space. Understand he's not making any money from uploading that video. He is not, he's not running a business. He is not, he doesn't need to have that video up there. I asked him to remove it to help our business. He claims he likes us, he wants to support us. He showed that he's much more interested in personal attention, in having people subscribe to his channel, which is a worthless channel that'll end up being terminated just like his old one was. You know, he used to have about 20,000 subscribers and he obviously liked the attention and then he lost it and now he wants it again. Not helping anybody. Um, you know, not take, he's stealing tra All these scene uploaders do is they steal traffic from this business. They cost this business money. He is costing me money, whether that's his intention or not. It doesn't matter. Um, these people are damaging us. If I ask you to remove a video because it's going to help us, you should do it. Because you get nothing out of having the video. You're not going to lose anything from removing it. You're not a YouTube partner. You're not running a business. Just recognize what you're doing, recognize who we are and what we're doing, and take your place. That's what I would ask of a scene uploader like Pokemonism, and anyone else out, out there that are uploading scenes that we can upload here and help grow our business and help create new content. We're the only DID producer out there. We're the only people making original DID content, so you should probably put your weight behind us. Um, so that's that. I mean, some other things, obstacles. Hiring talent is always an obstacle. Um, uh, that is something I'm, 
I mean, just take a look. <laughs> if you guys only knew the hell I went through the last few months trying to find somebody. Um, but even so, you know, with this pandemic um, hiring talent, uh, you would think there'd be more people looking for money. It's tough. It's tough where I'm located anyway. Um, and, you know, you got to arrange the filming and everything. And um, so that's kind of uh, a little bit of a struggle. But, uh, you know, then you have, uh, you know, when it comes to money, well, the whole thing is we need to grow the channel. We need more subscribers. We need more traffic because that kind of credibility is what is going to make new talent want to be a part of this. That's the whole thing, you know. Uh, and that's why we're cleaning up our image here, too. We're cleaning up the image because we want it to be more appealing to women for them to feel more safe here and for them to want themselves to be a part of this so we can hire more talent and make more things so the image is important and appealing to the talent but popularity appeals to people that's why it's important when we ask someone like pokemonism to remove a video he should do it so that people can come to our channel and they can grow and then the talent can see, oh, wow, this is popular. Again, we were growing at a rate of about 25,000 subscribers per year uh, just around a year ago. Uh, probably the early, uh, probably late last spring. We were at the pace of about 25,000 subscribers a year. Now, not so good. Now we're about 4,000 a year. Uh, I said, that's really bad. That is the... That's the worst it's, uh, our growth rate has been in two years. And that has to do with losing videos, natural algorithm changes. YouTube changes the algorithms, how they're promoting videos all the time. So a lot of stuff's out of your hands. But, um, you know, it's, it's important for us to build this, make it look successful, to entice people to want to be a part of this. Um, you know, success breeds success. People... Female talent will want to be associated with something that is successful, that they know can pay them, that they know can make them look good and get themselves out there. And, you know, we have a, we have a solid following here, but it needs to be much bigger. So that's one of the reasons, you know, and again, improving the image here, very important. And then the biggest problem we have, um, which has kind of been solved a little right now, biggest problem I've had in all of this is time. I own another business, and that has now been, um, I don't know, <laughs> uh, forced into a soon-to-be government-funded vacation. You know, that's kind of uh, kind of where we're at. Um, you know, we, uh, yeah, that's what it uh, what, what it looks like. Um, can I say I've been forced forced out of business, but now I can uh, put more time. Um, into this, into working on it, into writing, um, managing this. Like I said, rebranding, restructuring this. Um, it's uh, not. It's not easy. Not easy to to find the time you know, to work on all of this when you're very busy. So that's kind of been another another hurdle we've had. But um, you know, putting putting some more time in it right now, getting this all restructured, and trying to. Uh, you know, move move things forward in a positive direction. So, be on the lookout for the reuploads. They're coming. Um, I said final approach is next, and there's going to be more. Um, yeah. and uh, I will have more videos about the the repackaging of everything. And of course, caught in traffic is on the way uh, in May. That's exciting. I'm going to have a lot of time here to remaster all the digital creations. Somebody left a snarky comment they deleted saying, I used to be a patron, but then the digital creations weren't good or something like that. That's why I'm remastering them, to make them good. I understand the work quality at the beginning several weeks, was it three years ago when I started releasing those. Uh, the work quality was not really there. Things have improved quite a bit. If you're a DID fan, you love them. If you're really not into DID and you're into, you know, fetish bondage and stuff, you're probably not going to care. So that's uh, you know, totally, totally different. So this guy's probably not really into DID very much. So that's probably why he didn't like him. But uh, 
So a lot, of, a lot of stuff getting getting worked on, getting improved on. I'm investing a lot of time into this right now while I have it to make things better, to get new things out there, to set us up for success into the future because it is important. So that's what we got, and I'll see you guys soon.